In fact, we start off the weekend on a stormy note with this deep area of low pressure moving in. On the southern flank of that low, we are going to see gales for many, severe gales on exposed coasts. And those winds are going to be strong enough perhaps to cause some travel disruption, particularly for high-sided vehicles and maybe uproot trees, which are now starting to become in full leaf. It'll also bring with it some rain across parts of North Wales into the Midlands, north of England and for Northern Ireland through the night as well. Fair amount of cloud elsewhere, temperatures holding up at around six to nine degrees. But it'll be the winds that will be the feature first thing in the morning. Gusts in excess of 60 to 70 miles an hour on exposed coast. The stronger winds will travel their way across central and eastern England through the morning. The rain will tend to sit across North Wales, northern England, stretching up into the Scottish borders, although fairly showery, and across much of Northern Ireland. So sandwiched to the north and south of that wet weather, there will be some brighter spells but factor in the strength of the winds, the temperatures really struggling, particularly when you compare them to just a week ago. Hello, a very good evening to you. So we've got some stormy conditions as we go through the rest of tonight and into tomorrow. We've still got a Met Office warning in force for those strong gusty winds now across the UK. Could well be gusts up to around 70 miles per hour, but I think for our part of the world, more like 45 to 55 miles per hour. And there will be some showers around too.